Good day everyone and welcome to Slosh Mining. Hope everyone is doing well and staying safe. In our previous video we tested G Miner 2.99 on our RX 5700 XT. Today we're going to go over Team Red Miner to see what algorithms we can mine and what they hash at. Taking a look at our power consumption, hash rates and efficiencies. ggminer.co.za is an online store based in South Africa specifically for mining hardware where you can find mining power supplies, cables, mining frames, mining motherboards and risers to build your mining rig. For more information email contact at ggminer.co.za or click on the link in the description below. There are quite a few algorithms that Team Red Miner can mine Compared to G-Miner, G-Miner was only able to mine four different algorithms. Let's take a look at the possibilities of Team Red Miner. Just to go over the overclocks and undervolts of this card, we've got our RX 5700 XT at 800 core voltage. Our power limit is at minus 50%. Core clock is at 1399, 1.4. And then memory clock at 1800. We've put our fan speed at 100% just to make sure the card stays cool. Even though we've got two fans failing on our card. Okay, so we're going to test Ethereum and TAN. So dual mining. Let's give this about five minutes to kind of spool. And tune the card for mining two algorithms. And I know that we are dual mining, so running the graphics card at 50% is not ideal. But let's see what hash rates we get. Okay, we've been running for almost 5 minutes. We're getting 54.4 mega hash per second on Ethereum. And 1.1 giga hash per second on TAN. Our power consumption is 106 watts. Do they show the efficiency? I'm not seeing the efficiency. Okay, so 54 mega hash at 106 watts. Let's move on to our next algorithm. We're going to test Ergo. We've been running for about 10 minutes. We're getting 105 mega hash per second and be using 77 watts thing about Team Red Miner is they don't really give you the efficiency of your card. But 77 watts is not bad. And 105 mega hash per second. Moving on to our next algorithm. Everyone's favorite, Ethereum. Let's see what hash rate we get with our power consumption. We've been mining Ethereum for 18 minutes. We are getting 54 mega hash at 80 watts, which is not too bad. Let's move on to our next algorithm. Next algorithm that we're testing is Fido. And I'm sure you can get better hash rates. I'm just trying to find the most efficient, which is at 50% power limit, core voltage at 800. So let's see what we get. I'm sure if you push up the power limit and core voltage, your hash rate should be a bit higher. But you will be using more electricity as well. Your wattage will be higher. Okay, we've been mining Fido for about 13 minutes. We're getting about 23 mega hash per second at 101 watts. Moving on to the next algorithm. Our next algorithm that we're testing is Kapow, which is Ravencoin. Let's see what our hash rates and power consumption will be. We've been mining Ravencoin for about 18 minutes. Hash rates that we're getting is almost 26, 25.96 mega hash per second at 106 watts, which is not bad. I really do think that the RX 5700 XT is one of the best mining cards out there. Let's move on to the next algorithm. 
The next algorithm that we are mining is NIMIC. We've been mining NIMIC for about 12 minutes. Our hash rates are 501 kilo hash per second at uh, 86 watts. Let's move on to our next algorithm. Next algorithm that we are mining is TAN. We've been mining TAN for about 8 minutes. We're getting 1.76 gigahash per second at 60 watts. Now that we've got all our figures, our hash rates and power consumption, let's take a look at what to mine to put everything into perspective. Sorry for the background noise, it's storming outside so it's a bit loud. Before we get started with the hash rates and power consumption, Bitcoin is trading at $23,000, Ethereum is at $1,227 and Ethereum Classic at $14.43. So what we've done is we've selected our 5700 and we changed the figures of what we tested. So as you can see, Ethereum is at 54 mega hash at 80 watts. We've got Ravencoin at 26 at 106 watts. We've got Fido at 23 mega hash per second at 101 watts. Our power consumption is at 18 cents per kilowatt. Click on calculate and we have had quite a drop in price in Bitcoin and Ethereum over the last two days. So profits won't look too good. If we look at Ethereum, we're looking at 86 cents per day, 51 cents after electricity. We're still mining the same, which is 0 0.0007 Ethereum a day. Looking at Ravencoin, we're mining about 41 coins a day. Works out to about 74 cents a day before electricity and 28 cents after. Fido is our next profitable algorithm. You're mining about 0 0.47 coins a day. Calculating it out to 61 cents, 17 cents after electricity. Ergo is not very profitable. It does use very little power. You're mining about 0 0.29 ergo a day. 57 before electricity, 57 cents. And you're making about 1 cent after electricity. So your profits are actually going straight to your electricity. So it's definitely not profitable. What if we change... This is Ethereum Classic. What if we change this to 80? Let's keep it the same hash rate. See if it is somehow profitable. While you're mining 0 0.04 Ethereum Classic a day. Calculating it out to 56 cents a day and 21 cents after electricity. Um, all the other coins are not very profitable. We've got Flux at minus 29 cents a day. But we haven't actually tested that algorithm. That would be over here and I'm sure it won't be using 140. Hopefully we can test that algorithm in our next video. But that's it for Team Red Miner for today. Ethereum is still the most profitable and you'll be able to mine Ethereum for the next month and a half before the merge. Hope you found this video informative and insightful. If you are using RX 5700 XTs to mine, let me know what you are actually mining, what's your hash rates at and the power consumption. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay up to date with upcoming videos. Thank you for watching. Catch you on the next video. Ciao for now.